for about a year, we've been hearing about two new concepts from John Deere, the Swath Control Pro and iTech Pro. And here today to talk about it is, is Kyle with John Deere. First, tell me about the uh, iTech Pro. Okay, well, iTech Pro is a system whereby uh, we're answering a question from customers that's been going on for the last couple of years since they've had AutoTrack. Their nat next natural system or question comes up is, when will it turn on the ends for me? And so that's what the iTech Pro system does. It turns on the ends as well as integrating the rest of the AutoTrack system, but not only that, also integrating in um, functions of the, the, the machine, uh, the tractor itself, such as slowing down gears, um, slowing down the engine, picking up uh, an implement on the end. So literally now, once it's set up, the uh, operator can be in the cab and have full automation uh, as he's moving through the field. Does the operator have to push a button? Is that is that about all he has to do? Uh, there's there's some previous there's setup that you have to do previous to that. Once he's got it set up, um, it's just like running the regular auto track system. But this basically automates the process of, of field work, uh, and, this, and you're the first to do it. I hear. That's right. Um, John Deere is the first to deliver that type of a technology. Another product that you have uh, that you've been talking about a concept product is now available for the first time this year taking orders for that and that's called the swath control pro uh, which you previewed on your sprayers but now you have it available on planters well, will you tell us about that it's become quite popular on sprayers uh, swath control pro of course that's the the system that turns sections of your sprayer on and off based upon gps trying to reduce overlap that we have in the field and just like just like the auto track system once customer has experience with that we find that they want that on everything. So we came with the GS2 rate controller last year, which enabled Swath Control Pro on pull type sprayers. And now we're expanding the rate controller so that it can also work on planters, which is new for this year. There's a huge uh, payback uh, or, a, or value proposition for customers on planters because if you can reduce some of the overlap that you have when you're planting, you reduce some seed costs, well, that's an automatic payback uh, in, that, in that first year a lot of times. And how many row units can that control? How many units can you get it down to? Um, you still want to run with sections. Uh, the, the rate controller itself, we recommend 12 sections or less. And you want to set those up as you know, two rows at a time or more just because of uh, you know, general inaccuracies. There's a few other recommendations like we recommend SF2 or RTK signal you know, just to make sure that we get the performance in the field that we want. Uh, probably best way to find out about all those kind of details though, visit with your John Deere dealer. We've supplied them with a lot of information on, on uh, some of our recommendations on that. Can you give us an idea about how much you're looking at to get into one of those systems, starting with this, the Swath Control Pro? Yeah, really the key to it there is it's going to depend on what, what uh, Green Star products you own already and how you're going to set up the planner. So there's a lot of different things. I mean, I'll just give you a, a couple of ballpark prices. Uh, the GS2 display itself is a $5,000 display. The Swath Control activation is $2,500. The rate controller, I think you're probably going to look at, you know, probably $2,000 and up um, if you need to get that set up. So it's really going to depend on the, the, the setup of the individual uh, customer they're working with. That's why we encourage them to visit with the dealer and let them know exactly here's what I'm working with and, and they'll be able to, to help them out. And how about the iTech Pro? Is that is that part of the package now or is that an option and how much is that going to run them? Good question. That is an optional uh, activation code. It's a $2,000 activation. It's available on 8030 wheel tractors and uh, just went out for the latest software update. So those two new products, Swath Control Pro for planners, as well as iTech Pro, fully available now uh, for the spring season.